Okay, so tonight we're going to work with the creme de la creme of the duck, the magre, uh, the beautiful breast, um, and uh, the foie gras, um, which is really uh, the whole purpose of, uh, of Christian's Farm, of Oban Canard, uh, is to raise the ducks for the foie gras. Uh, I've heard uh, Christian joke that uh, the foie gras is, is what uh, he's raising, the rest of the duck is the byproduct. Um, but uh, we're incredibly lucky to have this, uh, this foie gras in, the, uh, in Minnesota. It's uh, the best foie gras in the United States, and frankly I think it's better than any foie gras I've ever had in France or anywhere in Europe. Uh, it's a really special product, uh, so we're very lucky to have it. Um, this is a, an A-lobe. Uh, it weighs uh, 1.56 pounds, so a little over a pound and a half. Uh, that's about average for, for uh, Christian's foie, and you can see it's beautiful. Very little bruising or anything like that, any, any blood. So um, we're going to work with the foie gras first because we're going to eat it. That's going to be our appetizer. So people ask me a lot. Can you freeze the foie, because this is a lot of foie for at home, and absolutely it freezes really well. Um, the foie gras is really uh, versatile, it's really um, easy to work with, um, it's not, uh, the only thing we have to be careful about doing is not overcooking it. Um, so we want to let it temper for um, half an hour or 45 minutes and just warm up a little bit when we take it out of the fridge. If it's too cold, it's a little brittle when we go to cut it and we're likely to crack it and break it. We don't want to do that. So there's two lobes of the, of the liver, of the foie gras, and we just want to gently break them apart. And they're just barely connected with some vein and tissue. And we're going to set aside this smaller lobe here, which is a little bit more odd shape. And tonight we're just going to make um, some sauteed foie gras. Um, uh, cooking a torchon, or uh, which we roll in a, in a cylinder in a towel traditionally, or a terrine is more complicated. We're going to need to, at that point, to open up the, the foie and clean all of the veining out uh, to do that uh, because we're going to barely cook the foie in those scenarios. Um, and so there's a lot more cleaning that has to be done there. I would encourage you to go on, uh, use the Google, and uh, look for uh, the veining of a foie gras online, and you can see uh, the pattern of that. And uh, it's actually quite kind of enjoyable to sit there and get all the, all the veins out. But tonight we're going to just cut some some uh, scallopini of foie gras um, uh, to saute. So we want to have a nice warm or hot knife. And again, the foie gras is tempered. And we're going to be looking for portions that are about three ounces or so. Um, and your knife is just going to slide right through like that. And as we get more into the center, you want to be about a half an inch or so thick. We're going to get beautiful slices of foie gras here. We're going to cut one more. This one's just a little thin maybe. And beautiful pieces like that. And from here we can season it and saute it and we'll do that.